Okay, Recon's video on Saturday, the 30th of September 2017. Do hope you are doing well. So, I thought that was a pretty good week's trading because the ranges were pretty good. This is uh, the range indicator. You can see the last five days we had three high range days and two low range days. And even the low range days were very tradable. So, uh, I thought that was a good week's trading. So, that's kind of good. We were hoping for elevated kind of uh, volatility at least during this kind of September uh, period where you know the market volatility tends to be higher at this point. So that's all good. Um, want to talk about the Rambo patterns in uh, this video because they have just been absolute doozies over the last uh, three weeks. Every single time they pop pop up, particularly when the amateurs are going short, uh, they've been excellent entry points. So I'm going to go through the, the charts for the last um, uh, 14 days trading just to show you where those Rambo patterns were. Uh, and apologies to people. There are some people out there who get quite sensitive about my terminology. Rambo pattern, remember, uh, stands for potential reversal of an amateur breakout. So R A M B O. Uh, and I talk about the amateurs and the professionals. And some people get uh, kind of a little bit upset that I'm calling, you know, small traders amateurs, and that they tend to be on the losing tr side of these moves. Um, sorry about that. It's just kind of the way the numbers kind of uh, come out. The amateur bars are shown by low average trade size. The professional bars are shown with high uh, because of the high average trade size, and that's what's going on. It's like if you've got the low average trade size, it's because you know you've got smaller players, uh, less well capitalized players, trading you know singles and two lots. Uh, the professionals are stepping in and you know jumping in and buying. 10, 20, 25, 35 kind of uh, lot trades and it pushes up the average trade size. So if you're kind of sensitive to the terminology, I apologize for that. I'm not going to change it though. But anyway, so Rambo patterns are breakouts that are being led by the amateurs. And it's when you get an extreme price point with a low average trade size, either on the low side or the high side, the Rambo signal kind of goes off. Uh, Friday was an uh, excellent example of that. I'll just talk you through that uh, quickly. So this is the open on Friday. And over the last couple of days, the nine and a quarter level have been absolutely key. And so just at the open, they kind of drove it up exactly to nine and a quarter with an exhaustion pattern. And you can see we had weakness uh, here uh, on the system view because we'd had a break of support. And on the upside, there were no breaks of resistances to trigger us into uh, strength yet. So at this point here, the nine and a quarter number had been hit. We had a bunch of blue professional bars coming at the highs. And on this little kind of pushback here, you can see the blue professional bars there. And then they suddenly just pushed it down. And we had a really strong move, about three points uh, to the downside here. Not particularly big in terms of momentum reads selling uh, down here. And then what happened at the very bottom was the amateurs jumped in there with particularly low average trade size. We generate a Rambo pattern and they're expecting this thing just to fall through the floor as they had been over the last three weeks. We've had all these Rambo patterns doing exactly the same thing. And no, it was kind of the low for the day. Um, the professionals step in, we have a blue professional bar kind of just after that and they push it up and up and then we eventually, you know, go to a really nice kind of uh, strength throughout the rest of the day. Look at this, just... Uh, Red bars showing strength, no weakness there at all for the entire day, just going up and up. And as soon as we go past the 11 a.m. window at this point here, if we've not had a reversal that by that point, we're just going to push to new highs uh, and just kind of push it by a point or two, point and a half, uh, kind of each time going through those highs. And that's exactly what we had with all of that strength there, despite, you know, exhaustion and bearish divergence. You know, because we hadn't rolled over by 11 a.m. in the morning, the likelihood of this being a reversal day is you know, significantly diminished. So a couple of things to note. First of all, like the early Rambo patterns are really important. Uh, the first ones of the day particularly are kind of really important because that shows you where the amateurs are, are jumping in and expecting they anticipate the trend to be and they off, are very often kind of wrong-footed. And the other thing to note is on the other side of that, they get their stops triggered. So let me just show you this on this chart. So, uh, and I call this a Rambo to Rambo channel. So at this point here, they've gone short and they put their stops usually you know two two and a half points away or at a significant pivot point so obviously that nine and a quarter number up here uh, was absolutely key and so there you go just as we hit nine nine and a quarter whatever 
there's their stops being triggered at this point here. So you see those, again, average, low average trade size trades being triggered at that point here where they place their stops because they say, look, I've got it wrong if we're kind of breaking above that pivot point. The signal bar is this one, is this is going short. That is a potential area to look for a reversal trade. This is not a sig signal bar. That's not an area where you look for a reversal trade. That is as a result of the stops being triggered from this trend uh, that they're entering at this point. So this being a reversal uh, is the signal. This is just the result of these traders being taken out at their stop. And so that is not a signal, if you like. So uh, I think that kind of helps. So the Rambo to Rambo channel, uh, the first signal is, is a true signal. The other one is just a resultant signal. It's kind of a, not spurious, I'm not going to say that because it's, it's genuine, uh, but that's not a place where you kind of re uh, reverse. And I'll see show you on the, um, you know, the last three weeks where we go through each of those days, like, you know, this is consistently uh, sitting uh, two or three points away at the other side of the channel uh, for the breakdown. We'll tag on that trade because it was a nice one. I was actually short into this move and it was looking good uh, for, you know, three points to the downside. Didn't, it was about a point away from my initial target. Uh, but then as soon as it reversed and started going the other way, I reversed my trade, uh, took a small loss on that short, uh, but got in long at eight and a quarter out at 12 and a half, a little bit too early, uh, kind of up, up here. Uh, but I was happy with that. It was four and a quarter points uh, for a nice kind of reversal trade there. But let's just go back and look at uh, the Rambo patterns over the last couple of weeks. Although the MTF chart shows that Rambo pattern right on the low there, which is kind of a killer signal, um, the 1500 tip bar chart, which is where I look for my Rambo patterns, signaled slightly differently, just a fraction early, not on the absolute low there. So just bear that in mind, slightly different there. But anyway, so that was Friday's activity. Thursday's activity, similar thing, kind of trying to decide which way to go during the early part of the day. And then we had a really strong signal here. It was like a U-turn, blue professional bars seemingly taking profits. And they jammed it down really hard at this point. The momentum reads were actually pretty big uh, on that um, kind of U-turn there. The amateurs stepped in thinking we were going to break to new lows for the day and the downtrend was in and no, get wrong footed. And there we go. There's the Rambo to Rambo channel. There they are being taken out at stops, you know, two, two and a half points away, you know, round, um, pivot points and so on. So they're being taken out. That's the reversal signal. That is just the resultant signal of this one. Day before that, this was a doozy. Yeah, this one was uh, not right. Uh, but this one down here, you know, at this point, it was looking like the market was going to drop off. You know, the, you can imagine. I mean, I was actually thinking that as I was trading this down here. Oh, my God, we're going. this is the day we've been waiting for. You know, the two, the two and a half percent down day, you know, would be. And of course, no, double Rambo patterns there at the bottom. Bang. Uh, they force it back up. And there's uh, them being triggered out. Rambo to Rambo channel. That's the signal for reversal. That's the resultant uh, Rambo pattern as a result of this. And then it just goes uh, to the um, uh, to new highs and more Rambo patterns as they're kind of jumping on board the move here. Uh, the day before that, these were a little bit early, but that was a nice one. Double Rambo pattern, bang, uh, led to a little bit of strength uh, from there. Uh, day before that, that was killer day. This one here, absolutely great. So double Rambo pattern here at the beginning of the day. Um, and the blue professional bar steps in and bang, they sold it down. And there's the resultant signal. I mean, I talk about these being the stops for these traders being two and a half points away. Well, uh, I don't know what was happening on that day, but there we go uh, at the exact opposite. That's more like a stop run on these Rambo patterns there, because that's about the right distance, two points away or so, two and a half points away. And then this one kind of down here, same deal at a previous pivot or you know point like that. Uh, they're being triggered there. But that is as a reversal signal, that as a reversal signal, this as a reversal signal, just uh, can't be beat. Um, now, this one didn't work out. So that was an early one of the day. Um, it's kind of a squirrely day. We had a low range day. That one did not work out. Uh, previous day, though, you know, down here being led by the amateurs, blue professional bars stepping at the lows, bang, we go the other side. And here are the other trigger points. So that as a result of that, uh, short, they're being triggered out here. But turns out that Rambo pattern into this you know, kind of downtrend move was also good. Uh, previous day b b before that, let me just show you this one. Uh, not particularly good place to have the signals here. The professionals step in and hold it at this point here. So that didn't kind of work out. 
Um, let's go back a little further. That was a nice one for the day. First one comes in. The amateurs again thinking it's going to break to new lows. Big down day got uh, taken out, and there are the Rambo patterns on the other side of the channel. There. This one for a short trade uh, for a change um, as we were breaking to new highs above 2,500. The Rambo patterns get triggered at this point here. Bang, goes the other way. Day before that, same thing. They're going short again, get triggered out. There's the Rambo patterns uh, being uh, triggered as a result of their stops being taken out uh, as they kind of seem to be wrong, uh, wrong footed in direction there. This one doesn't didn't go uh, too well. Um, you know, maybe you can argue that the third one kind of eventually made it round, but no, that was a funny day, low range kind of activity in the latter afternoon, but that one didn't work out. This one was pretty good going short at this point. You can see there's a consistent kind of story uh, with all of these uh, kind of patterns, uh, certainly over the last three weeks, like this one here. Amateurs going short, and it's the first Rambo pattern of the day or close to uh, that's really important because that's showing what the amateurs think you know, the trend direction for the day is going to be, and so they're jumping on board expecting a trend move, which we don't always get. You know, the professionals are far... Uh, far less prone to believe that every move is going to be a trend move. They're far more comfortable playing the ranges, whereas amateurs tend to like buying or selling breakouts in expectation of large trend moves, where the professionals are far more adept at uh, trading ranges instead of trending moves. Uh, so it's the first trend mo uh, move of the day where it gets signals where the expectation of the amateur is that it's going to break into a big kind of trending move, and it doesn't get... Uh, Reverse goes the other ways, and there we go. Rambo to Rambo channel being taken out at their stops, you know, two, two and a half points away. Um, and, you know, they're just consistently good good trades. And funnily enough, you know, over the last three weeks, I don't know if we go back over history, I should probably do some testing, but uh, if you go back um, over recent history at least, because everybody's saying the market's so overdone, uh, the amateurs are very anxious to, uh, uh, to catch, you know, the sell-off that is inevitably in front of us, but who knows when. Uh, and so just over the last three weeks, that has been the, uh, the, wrong, uh, the wrong trade and uh, they've been gamed every time. It's just kind of been moved against them. Anyway, so there we go, Rambo patterns. Uh, look for them and I think that uh, might be helpful in terms of trading and look for kind of the first ones of the day, the early ones of the day. And then when you see a Rambo to Rambo channel, that is not necessarily a reversal point. The first one is that's just being triggered off uh, the initial signal there. Good. Uh, I'll tag on that day trade because I thought it was a nice one for Friday, but clearly I took, took my profits way, way, way too early. Hope your trading is going well. All right, just reverse gone long, eight and a quarter. Whew. Uh, that was a shame. I mean, it sold down so hard. Rambo patterns right at the bottom. And uh, there, bingo. Uh, yesterday's Rambo pattern was a classic too. There we go. And we uh, broke to new highs. So um, we're going to go see where the Rambo patterns sit on the other side of this, which is probably above the... Uh, nine and a quarter, nine and a half kind of level to trigger it on the ups upside, just like we did kind of here and here. Um, bizarro move, because uh, you thought all the professionals were selling it down at that point, and there's only one little bar kind of come in since, saying they may may have kind of entered there. Uh, nothing on uh, 500 or 1500. Um, and we're breaking back up. So... Um, Geez, you know, over the last couple of weeks, these Rambo patterns on 1500 have been really, really important. So let's go and see where, where we go with this. Uh, I think we're going to go, well, definitely to go see the other side of the Rambo patterns, see where they are, and then they'll maybe take it down. But uh, geez, I thought that was a triple that was just, you know, going my way. But no, we've kind of uh, bounced uh, all the way back. So that's, is that support? Yeah, it's support coming up on 4,500. It's just kind of sig signaled here. All right, and back into an uptrend, and that was only one little break. So uh, kind of that move negates this uh, breakout, and yeah, here we go. It's all about, uh, you know, psych psychologically, you know, where everybody's positioned, thinking it's going to go in a particular direction, and then they'll whack it back the other way until you feel the pain. So uh, let's see where, where the Rambo patterns kind of end up on the other side of this channel, where the pain is for the poor old amateur. All right, we've just got a tiny little break up to nine and a quarter. 
and it's given us the other Rambo. So there he is. Uh, his stops were sitting uh, quite a ways away, but kind of triggered there uh, at the previous high, nine and a quarter. So um, we've got a bearish divergence come in, so how about up bars, Ooh. double top kind of thing. No blue fractional bars on 1500. Uh, bearish divergence right on the zero line, we go flush, flush. I don't know. Are we going to go any further than this? Let's just see. We've got a little bit of time to run resistance to, uh, sorry, support to resistance on the 4500. Uh, to the lowest country point there. Not confirmed with another break yet. Let's just see. All right, here we go on a little bit of a stop run above uh, nine and a quarter. Got us up to ten and three quarters. That was fun, 8,000 read, bit of momentum. It's going to pull back under trend. I don't know. There we go, under trend, exhaustion buy. Um, initial target's 12 and a half, but moving my target out just to see if this has got legs. We're uh, in uh, fresh territory, more Rambo patterns up the highs. That is a big read, 12,000 read. All right, coming up again. Uh, okay, we just uh, hit through 11 and three quarters. That's good. So first blue professional up bar we've seen on uh, 1500 uh, since this one kind of um, gathering pattern, getting this move going. Another exhaustion buy. 12 and a quarter initial target. Let's uh, I'm going to just put mine at 13 and a quarter. Getting a little uh, a little done with this, and we've got this resistance in. I don't know if this could go pull back under trend, but we've got bearish divergence. We've got this blue uh, exhaustion buy. Let's see if we just get taken out on this next little push. Not just out at twelve fifty for uh, four and a quarter points and uh, 13 and a quarter got hit uh, caused us another exhaustion pattern it was after, oops it was after a rambo pattern just got a little bit nervous there and uh, yeah hit the eject button i think it might go up again to 13 and a quarter kind of take it out but that's fine i'm good with that so uh, it was at four and a quarter on that trade uh, three quarter point loss on the first trade where we're kind of going short here and the Rambo pattern was uh, prescient in uh, saying to uh, reverse and go the other way. That one down there. Anyway, done for the day.